Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's take a look at how to use Google One AI Premium. Now in this video, we'll take a look at what premium subscriptions do we get. So one of them is we actually get the Gemini Advanced and then the other one is we have the up to two terabytes of storage. So say for example, if we were to go ahead and take a look at our email right here, so we have our email right here. And then if you take a look at this one right here, we can actually go ahead and use this or utilize this to go ahead and you know skim through our email itself. So say for example, let's see, uh, can you look for uh, unopened emails uh, from Prezi or something like this? And then if you go ahead and search this up, this will go ahead and understand your query. And as you can see, it has gone through all of this right here. So if you have, you know, things that you want to go ahead and search for, this is acting as an assistant for you to go through your emails very, very quickly. So, you know, let's say we have um, taken a look at all of this. Um, now, can you mark all of them as red. And then you can go ahead and, you know, utilize the assistant itself. As you can see, it's still quite limited in terms of what you can do with it, but it does allow you to make things a lot easier when it comes to searching for things. Now that is one of the premiums that you can get. So you can get a Gemini inside your Google Mail itself. Another thing that you can get is if you go to your drive, you should be able to see that you have unlocked two terabytes of storage, unlike your usual drive, where you have about less than uh, 15 gigabytes of free data. Now you can actually go ahead and use Gemini in here as well. So if you have any files that you want to go ahead and be summarized, you can go ahead and ask Gemini once again right here on the very top. The main thing that you can get from your Google One AI Premium is, of course, Gemini Advanced. So as you can see, we have used Gemini Advanced in our email as well as our drive. But here are a few things that you can get along with your Gemini Advanced. So it means that you can get up to 1.5 Pro. So that means that you can allow Gemini Advanced to go ahead and read up to 1 million tokens of data from you know whatever you want to upload and then it will go ahead and try to understand everything so that means that you can go ahead and upload any google docs pdfs even you know any class notes that you have taken or even any lecture notes that you have and then you can go ahead and add ask um, questions about it you know it will basically it's as if you, can, you are treating it like a classmate you know here take a look at my lecture notes now can you give me feedback or can you give me a summary or you know what do you think is missing from all of that we can go ahead and do that you can also upload spreadsheets right here and then get more meaningful insights into it as well as go through you know python code itself so we're going to go through all of this by going into Gemini itself. So just go ahead and click Gemini Advanced or just go ahead into gemini.google.com. And then here are a few things that you can go ahead and do. Again, you know, explain concepts in Python, project proposals, any online content or PDFs that you want. So say for example, that we have a Python code that we want to go ahead and get help with from a Gemini Advanced. So say, for example, I have a very, very small Python code right here, which is, you know, defining a squared function, and then it's supposed to return a squared number. So say, for example, if I square five, then it should be 25 right here. And then say it's very, very complicated code, and you're not really sure as to what's happening here. You can actually go ahead and ask Gemini Advanced on this. All you need to do is to go ahead and, you know, copy the file itself right here or um, I need help with a Python function and it is not working. Uh, can you help me 
figure out what's wrong. And then just go ahead and copy the function. Here is the function right there. And then uh, I print the following code and expecting 25, but I get 10 instead. Here you go. So if you go ahead and press submit right here, uh, do one thing you need to check is that Gemini Advanced is the one that is uh, selected. So if it's not Gemini Advanced, or if it doesn't say Gemini Advanced, then you are not using Gemini Advanced. So make sure that you are using the correct one. So go ahead and press submit. It will go ahead and try to understand your code. And then it will tell you all about it. So it says that uh, absolutely the issues lie in the calculation within your squared function. So it's saying that this is incorrect. Here's the breakdown on how to fix it. So the problem, your function squared num is currently adding the number. So that's the mistake that you know we made right here. We're adding the number instead of multiplying it. And then it, you know, it's, it's, it's very, very nice because it tells you what the problem is. It tells you the solution, and it also tells you, you know, a bit of an explanation and the corrected code right here. So it really breaks down in terms of the code that you have. Of course, this is a very, very simple example. So you will need to go ahead and go through the ones that you need in terms of your code itself and really break it down for Gemini Advanced to understand. So that's one of the things that you can do. So you can actually do some Python code. And also, as you can see here, you can actually go ahead and run the code itself. So when we click on run code, there you are. So it is doing everything. You can actually go ahead and edit the code itself inside as well. So it's acting as an IDE within a Gemini Advanced. So say, for example, if I want to go ahead and print, let's see, all of the code right here for all of the squared functions. And then if we go ahead and show the code or run the code itself, let's see what that will look like. And then it will go ahead and give you the output. And there you are. So that's one of the things that you can do with Gemini Advanced. Another thing that we can go ahead and do is say, for example, we have, again, lecture notes from our uh, class itself. What we can do is we can go ahead and upload this into Gemini Advanced. So we're going to be, you know, clicking the lecture notes itself, copy it in there. And then can you, you know, give me a summary of this like so. So it will go ahead and read through your lectures or your slides, and then it will go ahead and analyze it, and then it will give us a summary. So it tells us, you know, what is inside the actual lecture notes itself. So it says that the document contains lecture notes on linear algebra and then covering topics such as matrix operations, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see, can you show the examples? of the um, uh, calculating the determinants in a matrix right here from the lecture note. And then it will go ahead and once again, try to understand your question. itself and then it will go ahead and answer it based on your question so it's coming from the actual lecture notes itself it tells you in terms of how to do a two by two matrix it tells you how to do a three by three matrix and then of course it gives you the step by step of how to do it so right here based on this and then another thing that we can go ahead and do is to go ahead and summarize uh, research papers. So say, for example, I went through here, Journal of Artificial Intelligence Research. And then let's just take a look at one um, paper. So, you know, say, for example, this one, does clip know my face? So I don't know what this is about. But what we can do is you can just go ahead and click on this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be downloading the actual PDF. 
itself. So this is around about uh, 30 pages long. So what is this about? I'm assuming it's something to do with a AI or a vision model called Clip, and it's trying to uh, do some form of uh, ethics within it. If it, you know, it actually does see your face. So let's just go ahead and download this right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to be opening this up in Gemini once again. So I'm just going to drag this right here and then ask it to go ahead and read the doc document itself. So can you summarize this uh, research paper? Here we go. So once again, it will go ahead and read through. Again, I have no idea what this is about. So let's just go ahead and ask Gemini Advanced to do the work for us. And there you are. So it, it, you know, it gives us the analysis. So what it has done is it has read documents and then it has, you know, tried to basically summarize the actual thing itself. So the paper introduces a novel method called blah, 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 blah. And then it goes through all of this right here. Um, let's see if, you know, does it, does it show any significant, um, graphs? Let's see if this will work right here. Again, we are utilizing the power of Gemini Advanced to go ahead and ask questions based on the paper that we have uploaded right here. Okay, so it does, it says that there are some significant uh, graphs illustrating it. Uh, it's still unable to fully just, you know, take the actual um, graphs itself, but it does tell you where they are right here. And finally, we can also use Gemini Advanced for statistics or any uh, statistical analysis that we want. So, so for, say for example, that we have a data set right here of, you know, um, a sample Excel data. So uh, I want to look into this data right here. Can you give me, can you create a... Uh, any statistical analysis with graphs. Okay, so it will go ahead and read through all of this. And this has over 1000 entries in here. So it will take a while to go ahead and read through. And then it will go through all of this. So just to uh, confirm that all of this data, the employee data that I have, these are all just simulated. So these aren't actual people itself. Just for the purpose of this tutorial, we're able to go ahead and just show the power of Gemini Advanced. So it's really trying to, you know, do step by step in terms of what it's trying to understand. It's saying that it's doing some analysis and then it's saying that our, uh, some of the values are missing right here so it's trying to find other ways to go ahead and understand the code that we have and then once that it has finished going through all of this you know you can actually go ahead and go through your analysis right here you can make changes if you want you can view it in terms of a table as well right here again these are all synthetic data right here and then, you know, it gives you a lot of statistical analysis that you'd usually try to figure out as well. And there you are. So there's a lot of things that you can do in terms of a Gemini Advanced from summarizing your notes, understanding, you know, different uh, contexts, as well as doing analysis in terms of your data. And it can really help you as well in terms of anything that you need, if you need to use it as some form of assistant. And there you go. I hope that you have found this tutorial useful. See you guys next time.